In this video, you will learn how to complete a carriage replacement on your Method Series printer. Before you begin, you'll need to make sure you have a few tools handy. For this process, we'll need a T10 Torx driver and a 2mm hex driver. Additionally, you may want to have something on hand to keep screws organized. Make sure that your build plate is cleared and any material is unloaded from the printer before beginning. To begin, disconnect your Method Series printer from power by unplugging the power cable. Next, remove the top lid and set it aside. Since we'll be removing the top part of the printer, you'll need to remove the guide tubes and hang them over the back edge of the printer. Next, remove the extruders from the carriage and set them aside. Once the extruders are removed, remove the small extrusion covers from the outer edge of the printer. On the left side of the printer, you'll see an auxiliary port where the guide tubes are connected. Push inward on the metal tabs to release and remove the guide tubes. Use a T10 Torx driver to remove the screws from both sides of the Method Series printer. Gently lift the top cover of the printer from the front. You'll notice a small cable that connects the top cover to the touchscreen board. You'll need to unplug this before proceeding. Next, you will need to disconnect the bellow bracket. This can be done by locating the bellow bracket screws on either side of the printer, just below the belt. Remove these with the 2mm hex driver. If you're using a Method X, you'll also need to remove the X bellows. If you're using a Method, this step isn't necessary and your device won't have X bellows. Manually pull these away from the carriage. A replacement bellow should be included with your replacement carriage. After unscrewing the bellow bracket, you should be able to move the bellows freely away from the carriage. Move them forward for now. Next, unscrew the tension relief bracket from the front inner edge of the printer. This can be removed by unscrewing these two with your T10 Torx driver. Once unscrewed, the bracket should come free. Next, you'll need to disconnect the flat flex cables. Make sure to remove these by gripping the connector and pulling away, rather than pulling on the cable. At this stage, you'll be removing the carriage itself. Use a T10 Torx driver to remove the two bottom screws on either side of the carriage. Once removed, you'll need to unscrew the upper carriage screws along the back of the carriage. Once all screws are removed, slide the carriage forward to remove it. The flat flex cables that you unplugged will come along with it. Slide the new carriage into position between the brackets on the gantry bar. Insert the upper carriage screws first using the T10 Torx driver. Then lower the carriage screws. Next, slide the front bellow bracket forward so that it's flush with the carriage. Make sure the left and right sides where the screws were removed previously are aligned. Reinsert the screws to attach the bracket to the gantry bar. Once reattached, place the replacement X bellows by adhering the adhesive to either side of the carriage. Finally, connect the flat flex cables to the board. Make sure the shock absorbing foam is aligned with the edge of the tension relief bracket. Now replace the tension relief bracket by replacing the two T10 screws. Next, move the top cover back into place on top of the printer. Before completely securing the top cover, make sure to reconnect the small cable in front of the printer that you disconnected earlier. Place the top cover into position. Next, use your T10 Torx driver to replace the four screws on either side of the printer.
Reattach the guide tubes to the auxiliary port. Then place the extruders and reinsert the clips into the extruders. You're now ready to power your printer back on. Make sure to run calibration before running your first test print.